friends, family, teachers, staff, and of course, the class of 2020. Good morning. This long-awaited day is finally here. Before I begin, I would like to take a moment and thank the administration and all the staff involved for allowing us, the graduates, to gather as a class one last time. I would also like to thank all the teachers for making the most out of distance learning to round out the last few months of school. And I would like to say a big thank you to all parents and family members for supporting us, your kids, through not just these four years of high school, but through everything. Class of 2020, this is it. This is our last official gathering, a celebratory and contemplative gathering of all that we've experienced in these last four years, and especially in these last few months. Washington Hills has done a great job of preparing us for our next chapter of life, even with the Zoom meetings and Google Classroom assignments. But during our time at home, we gained even more knowledge about ourselves and our world. We learned that our sleep schedules, well, fluctuate a lot. Our screen time can consistently exceed 10 hours a day. TikTok is actually just a bottomless pit, and Animal Crossing is amazingly addictive. On a more serious note, we learned that we humans, as advanced as we think we are, will always be at the whim of nature. We're at the mercy of a seemingly tiny, insignificant virus that has the power to cripple life as we knew it. My heart goes out to everyone personally affected. We learned and are still learning that adults do not always have the answers, that world leaders really do not know how to handle unprecedented situations such as these, and that the deep-rooted issues with our social justice system are laying bare. Regardless of whether you consider today's ceremony or the drive through your official date of graduation, we have all emerged from the comfortable shell of high school. Now, we fully immerse ourselves into this murky, uncertain period of history. What do we, as a class of 2020, do with all this knowledge that we have attained? The post-COVID-19 world awaits us. What will life be like then? Right now, it seems like there are 14,605,000 possibilities for the future. I am not Dr. Strange. I won't pretend like I know the answers. But I do know that we are not in the end game, and there isn't just one winning solution. We, right, we know the structure of our society has proven to be unstable. Its framework is crumbling in the face of the present. The great thing is, we haven't waited until now to act. In our four years of high school, we have already started to reshape the structures of our society. We have seen and responded to many glaring issues in our world, such as gun violence, climate change, and most recently, racial injustice, by using our voices at school, at rallies, and on social media. Many of us are reaching voting age, and some of us will even run for office. We are already using our knowledge of our current world to build it into one we want to live in. Now, we have a much more potent task. We are graduates and adults. We must not just reshape our society, but rebuild its weak framework into a strong and malleable foundation for the future. So we must keep learning through all of this. Continue to be active members of society. If you aren't, it's never too late to start. Continue to ask questions and seek answers. Perpetual learning and adaptation are the catalysts for continuously improving world. Fellow graduates of Washoe Hills, thank you for the three and three quarter years we spent together. Stay curious, stay aware, and we will build the world we want to create. Thank you.